Hello, everybody. Um, so, I, I'm currently going to school for cybersecurity, and every single day, I have to figure out some stuff that isn't documented really anywhere on YouTube or on the internet, and I figure it out, and I know somebody else is going to be in this position, um, too, at some point. So, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to um, download files from a... Uh, Wireshark capture. Say if somebody uh, uses the FTP protocol, file transfer protocol, and you need to download that said file, I'll show you how to do it. So, obviously, I'm using Kelly Linux here. So, we're going to start out and we're going to open up Wireshark. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up this file capture or this um, packet capture that I have. So we're going to go to downloads. And if you don't know, they'll always have the PCAP. Or maybe I can just open Wireshark from here. Whatever. This is the one. So um, depending on what you know about Wireshark and FTP, we're going to sort out all the FTP uh, communication here. So um, if you want to download a file, see we've got a username, a password being exchanged for the FTP protocol. You, you usually need to log in. And that is plain text in this case, but usually nowadays it's not plain text. That stuff is kind of encrypted. So we've got this confidential file. We don't know what the file is. Um, we don't know what kind of file, what's in the file. So these are just transfer packets, just communication. So we want to actually figure out which one has data in it. So if you sort by data, we have two packets right here. So once we view these, um, we can see this one has this file on it. I mean, you can kind of read it, but doesn't really give you too much information. We also have this file here, which looks to be a directory. And if you go and click on this and do follow TCP stream, you can see that this is what it would look like in command line if somebody else, like, you can see confidential file uh, SMS messages, other memos, calls. So this would be um, a command that somebody was doing via the FTP protocol. So every single time you do that, it puts in a filter for the stream. So we're going to go and put the data one back in. And we're going to try to download this actual file. So we're going to right click on here. And this is the one that has the actual confidential file in it. So you'll click TCP stream, this will pop up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna switch from ASCIs to raw data. We just want the straight raw data, that's all. So now we're gonna download this as a file and we're just gonna put it on our desktop, how about that? And we'll just say new file, cause it's a new file and we'll save it. So now we've got this file on our desktop. Who knows what kind of file it is, so let's figure that out. Um, this may be different for uh, Windows, Linux. It's just this is a very easy thing to do on Linux. You want to go to wherever you save the file, view that file in there. We've got that new file right here. And then we're going to figure out what kind of file this is. So all you have to do is hit file, type in file, and then we're going to go new file. And it says it's a zip archived data file. So it's a zip file. So now after we do that, we'll want to go in here and we're going to want to rename this to a zip file. All we have to do is dot zip. And Let's just open it with here. And now we've got our confidential information.txt. So this was a zip file, and then the actual text file was in the zip file. But in any case, that could have been that could have been a picture, could have been a text file, it could have been anything. 
um, but the main thing is here that you want to download the raw data don't put a file extension on it and then figure out what kind of file it is and then put the file extension on it um, in this case if you want to extract it um, unfortunately <laughs> there's a password um, I'm not going to cover it in this one but there's a way to crack it and that's using fcrackzip